Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nari, and on here we talk about various fragrances in my collection. Uh, this is your first time coming across my page, then I want to say welcome. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to all my social medias. That way you will never miss a post that I am putting up. I often recommend that people subscribe to Instagram. Instagram is where I have initially started off at, but if you are only on YouTube, then make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications and that way you won't miss anything you'll catch it as it actually airs but to all of my returning subscribers i like to say thank you and welcome back we're going to talk about pumpkin uh, fragrances i want to try something different i hope you all approve if this sounds like something interesting that you want to look into then stay tuned all right, so let's jump into it. Our very first one is pumpkin. I'm sorry, not pumpkin. It's pecan waffle, but it's pumpkin pecan waffle, right? So what are the notes that are in it? The notes that's in this one here is maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. So if you're anything like me, you like to wear this fragrance closer to the fall season, but pumpkin is just not a note that you want to have... Uh, to be the strongest and you're not really feeling the whole syrupiness to it right so what i combine it with is vanilla 28. first of all vanilla 28 is a standalone fragrance but together it gives you just an added syrupness that's not like pancakes it's more brown sugar because in your vanilla 28 you're going to get the vanilla orchid the jasmine the brown sugar the tonka bean uh the amber amber wood must and patchouli so it takes this pumpkin pecan waffles and kind of gives it a little more uh maturity uh, you're not walking around small smelling like you wasted your breath is on you right so this one here i love to combine together because of the two brown sugars so what you get is this brown sugar stickiness that's almost kissable it's edible i love these two together all right, and our next one is going to be Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte has a slight coffee note. Predominantly, this fragrance is creamy pineapple, uh, pumpkin, toasted marshmallows, and warm praline. So when I wear this one, because it gives me that slight coffee note, I want the coffee note to stay around a little bit longer. So what I can pair it with or I layer this one with is going to be Rosito Intense Cafe. If you loved Intense Cafe, then this one here, or even if you didn't like Intense Cafe, this one here takes it up a notch because it adds in this turkey red rose, like a Turkish rose, a creamy, almost jammy-like rose note. So it's almost like sitting in a coffee shop and you got a bouquet of roses, right? That's the only way I can envision it. With the fragrance, you're going to get coffee, the Turkish rose, the roasted coffee beans, the fresh roses again, that woozy note, uh, vanilla, caramel, white must, and amber, right? So when you compare it with the marshmallow pumpkin latte, it kind of takes some of that pumpkin note and uh, projects the marshmallow, right? So you get more marshmallow, more warm praline, and then it's blending in. Uh, you have to try it. If you try it, I promise you, you would enjoy it because the roasted coffee bean is the smell of ground coffee. So if you ever went into a coffee shop and they freshly ground the coffee, then that's the note that you get as an opening. But these two combined together is absolute magic to me. I love wearing it. I feel so cozy when I have it on. All right, my last one that I have in my collection is going to be pumpkin cupcake pumpkin cupcake is you can really layer this one with any fragrance that has like a whipped cream aspect right but i didn't really want to layer it with a whipped cream one because that's like obvious right you can layer the cupcake the idea of the cupcake the frosting you can put with anything that is sweet but what i wanted to do is get more into the the like a pumpkin pie standpoint right so if you're Wearing pumpkin cupcake, then you're going to get that baked pumpkin, whipped vanilla frosting, 
golden honey. And then if you pair it with the one I want to pair it with, it's going to be Cal Thai Royal Blends. That one has more of a spicy, fruity um, nuance to it. So the opening in that one is going to be your fruits, apples, spiciness, nutmeg, cloves, amber musk, and woody notes, right? But what I like the two in comparing is that baked pumpkin with the nutmeg, clove, and spices that is inside of the fragrance gives you the fresh out of the oven pumpkin pie, like that pumpkin pie you get for Thanksgiving, right? Holiday pumpkin pie. It gives you that, that nuance. And then it settles down. You're going to get the amber and the musk and that woody notes that's going to give it that warm bodiness to it. And then it's going to be topped off with some golden honey and feel, I'm always looking to feel edible, uh, gourmand, uh, <laughs> lack of a better phrase, biteable, right? I want something that when people walk past me, particularly my husband, that I want him to feel like he just needs to give me a hug. Well, that's what these two do. It gives the baked pumpkin spiciness nutmeg and clove drizzled over the top with some golden honey. It is absolutely magical in my opinion. I love these two together. And that is what made me be able to keep pumpkin cupcake in my collection and not pass it on to my daughter. All right, we talked about how would we pair marshmallow pumpkin latte, pumpkin co uh, cupcake, pumpkin pecan waffles. If you have these fragrances, I would love to hear it. Tell me about it. How are you layering these fragrances? Do you wear them on their own? Is it a fragrance that you just wear to bed? Or when you're in the store, do you just bypass these because pumpkin is just not your thing? So you just do not even think to stop and pick up any one of them. And that's okay. Because I will admit that all of the different versions of the pumpkin fragrances, there are quite a few that I have just allowed to bypass because as though I love it for the holidays, I can't 100% say that I will wear pumpkin fragrances. But the layering combos that I gave you is what enabled me to be able to keep these three and layer them. I would love to hear your opinion. So in the chat, please let's talk about it in the comments. Tell me, what would you have layered? Did you even think about it? Did I give you some great ideas? So on that note, I'm gonna bid you a wonderful day an absolutely blessed and wonderful evening or morning or whenever it is that you got an opportunity to see this video. But all I ask is that you share it so more people can find this channel and engage with people like us. Again, thank you. I greatly appreciate you. And I'm going to see you in the next video.